So now what we're going to talk about is the auxiliary shaft. This thing only goes on one way. There's a nipple here and a hole here. And so we're lined up, right? Yeah. I'm not going to tighten it all the way. Caddy Wampus. Maybe we are going to put it on all the way. Okay, pretty good. I'm just gonna give it a little oomph. So there's a hole here. And there's a divot there. That's where your timing mark is. We're going to get some paint so we can mark it. All right. Here. And we'll go over this again when we're doing the timing. So this gets turned to that, right? And then this is going to get turned to top dead center. Right here, right? For your timing purposes. How's that look? Not too good. That's better. So, this auxiliary shaft is what pumps your oil, right? With the timing belt. It has to be marked up like this because if it's off, then the motor won't spin. So, the motor's going to spin all the way around. No problem. If the thing is off, the motor is going to hit on the auxiliary shaft.
but it didn't hit there. Right there, see? Hear that clunk? We're hitting on the shaft. So it's it's about right here. We can turn it back, point it down, it hits. See? Ouch, finger. So that's what they're talking about when they say line that up there. I like that new rear seal. It works a lot better. Next to go on this thing is the head. Once I get the head on, we can start making some progress. But I oh, can't see that. But since y'all made so much, well, not y'all, since there was noise made about not lapping the valves, I'm going to lap the valves first and show you how to do that. And then we can get the head installed. So I won't be able to get to that until Monday. Thanks for watching.